Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily add a forum to any of your existing Laravel projects or even a new Laravel project that you are starting up. This is a package called Chatter and it's pretty easy to use. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, just like any other Laravel application, we need to start at the beginning. So let's go ahead and create a new Laravel app. So I'm just going to say Laravel new forum. Okay, and after that has been installed, we can go ahead and cd into our new project. And let's go ahead and run php artisan serve. And now if we go to our browser and we navigate to localhost 8000, we will now see a blank Laravel installation on our machine. And this is using the latest version of Laravel, so Laravel 5.3. I believe right now it might be in release candidate 1, but this is going to be compatible with the latest version of Laravel. So if we go ahead and go to github.com slash the dev dojo slash chatter, this is where the package lives. And you can actually check out a demo on the dev dojo website. If you click this link, you can kind of see the beginning of the dev dojo forums. So this is kind of an example of what we're going to get on our project. So if we go ahead and go down to the readme, we can see here that if we are doing this on a new project, we need to make sure that we install the default user authentication. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and run php artisan make auth. And this will create all the authentication scaffolding for us. And then we can go ahead and go back to the package page. And we see here that we need to composer require. And let's go ahead and include that. Okay, and after that's been included in our project, then we need to go back here and it says that we need to add the service provider to our config app.php. So let's go ahead and open this up in our text editor. And if we go to our config app.php, we can then scroll down to where we see our providers array. So if we scroll down, we will see our providers array right here, and we can just include the chatter service provider. So let's check out the next step in the process. So we can go here, go to PHP Artisan Vendor Publish. Let's go ahead and run that. And then let's go back and we need to do composer dump autoload. And then we need to do our migrations. So let's go ahead and run PHP Artisan Migrate. And we're probably going to get an error right now because it's going to say, oh, we don't have a database connection. So let's go ahead and create a new database. And I'm actually just going to connect to my local host here. And I'm going to create a new database. And I'm just going to call this forum. So once I've added that, I will need to add the credentials to my .env file. So if I go to my .env, then my database is going to be forum, and my username and password is just going to be root and root. And in my case, the host is going to be localhost. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and run the PHP Artisan migrate again, and then if everything went fine, you should see that we migrated all of these tables. So let's go ahead and go back to the GitHub page and we see that we need to run this seed file. So let's go ahead and run this. And then let's go back and we see that inside of our master.blade.php or our app.blade.php, we need to include some yields. And what these are is this is basically, we need a way to connect to the master file. So we need a way to connect to the master head and footer so that way we can put in the necessary CSS and JavaScript only when your form is loaded. So let's go ahead and include this inside of our app.blade.php. So let's go resources, views, and layouts. And in just anywhere inside of the head, we can go ahead and include this yield CSS and the yield JavaScript right above the ending body tag. So if we save this, let's go ahead and run our PHP artisan serve command. And now if we go back to localhost 8000, sure enough, our site looks just like it did before. But we do now have these login and register buttons, and that's because we added the authentication scaffold to our application. So we can now log in or register for our application. And if we go to localhost 8000 slash forums, we now have our new forum in front of us with some dummy content inside of the forum. So you can see here that we have 
We can click to add a new discussion. We can view all discussions and we have the categories over here on the left. Then on the right, we can go ahead and click on a discussion and we can see what's going on in this discussion. So let's say that we want to create a new discussion. Well, it's gonna redirect us to the login because we need to be logged in first. So before we can log in, we need to register for an account. So let's just say John Doe and we'll say John Doe at gmail.com. And we'll go ahead and add a password. So then we've been registered. So we can go ahead and go back to our forums and you may want to add a forums button up here in your main navigation, just so users don't have to manually navigate to forums. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on new discussion. And you can see that we can go ahead and type in a title here. And then we can go ahead and select a category, let's just say general, and then we can add some content here. Not a very interesting post, but this is just for example purposes. Blah, blah, blah. And then we can go ahead and add an image if we would like. We can add a link. We can add some numbers. And we can also bold the text, italicize, or underline our text. And then we can go over here and we can choose a specific color. So this is just going to be a color that you'll see after we create the discussion. It's going to show up here in the header. So let's just create a blue color and click on create discussion. So now you can see this blue color is up here. We have the title of our discussion and then we have the content for our discussion here. And we can also add some more content here. So I could say, this is awesome. But if I go ahead and click on submit response, I'm gonna get a message back that says, in order to prevent spam, please allow at least one minute in between submitting content. And this is just a default setting. You can change how many minutes that you want the user to wait before adding content just that way you don't get spam on your site, or you can completely turn this off. So to turn this off, you can actually modify a lot of your configuration inside of your config chatter.php. And a lot of this is well documented, so you can go through and read what all this means. So let's go ahead and go down here to security and say limit time between posts. Let's just set that to false. So now if I save that, we can see that we posted this 16 seconds ago. I can still now post this. This is awesome. And it's going to allow me to post it. And I can go ahead and continue to add more posts if I would like. But as a security measure, again, if you want to enable this limit time between posts, you can just set this to true. And you can specify in minutes how much time you want the user to wait in between adding content. So I hope you can see just how powerful this is. Within a matter of five minutes, you can have a full Laravel application with full authentication. And you can also have your own custom forum on your site. I will be actively developing the chatter package. And right now there is no admin section to it. Uh, there are quite a few admin packages out there, or you could always build your own in order to delete discussions as an admin. But as you can see, if you were the one to add the post, you could then go in and simply delete it, or you could also edit it. But you may also want to add some admin privileges later on. So I hope that you'll go ahead and check out this package. I will include a link to it below the video. And if you feel like contributing, the more people that contribute to this package, the better it will become. So thanks, and I look forward to hearing your feedback.